In this video, I will show 10 of the new and improved features in Parallels Desktop 16. Let's start with the new support for OpenGL 3.2 in Windows. I will show two Windows applications that now work in Parallels Desktop 16. First, in Dialux, a computer-aided design application for the design of lighting in buildings. In Parallels Desktop 15, if you tried to launch Dialux you would see these dialogues that this was not possible. Here is Dialux running in Parallels Desktop 16. No problems at all, and the performance is great. This is because we now support OpenGL 3.2 in Parallels Desktop 16. And next, I will show you the game, Halo Reach, the latest installment in the popular Halo series from Microsoft, running in Parallels Desktop 16. As you can see, the game runs well. There are a number of other applications and games that now run well in Parallels Desktop 16, because of our support for OpenGL 3.2 in Windows. Let's turn our attention now to the new Mac OS Big Sur, which was just released by Apple. Parallels Desktop 16 fully supports Big Sur, both as a host OS, and a guest OS. Here you can see Big Sur used as the host OS for Parallels Desktop 16, as well as a guest OS, running in a Parallels Desktop virtual machine. Probably, you are not too surprised by the Big Sur support in Parallels Desktop, since every year we add support for the new Mac OS. However, this was the largest engineering task in Parallels Desktop 16. Earlier this year, you may have seen this dialog on your Mac. Apple significantly changed the underpinnings in the Mac OS used by Parallels Desktop. This required us to make major architectural changes to Parallels Desktop. These changes are diagrammed here. This took more than 25 man years of effort. However, the engineers were able to add 3D support in Mac OS virtual machines. This is a first for any Mac virtualization app, and I will show it to you now. Here I am using Apple's Maps application, to see a 3D flyover of Seattle. We can zoom into the Space Needle in downtown Seattle. Other apps that require 3D support, like Pages and Final Cut Pro, also work in a Mac OS Big Sur virtual machine in Parallels Desktop 16. Both the Mac OS and Windows 10 have Do Not Disturb settings. But it is easy to forget to turn them both on. In Parallels Desktop 16, when you turn on Do Not Disturb in the Mac OS, Parallels Desktop will automatically turn it on in Windows 10 also, as you can see here. A new feature in Parallels Desktop 16, which will help almost all users, is the automatic reclamation of disk space. Windows sometimes needs some extra disk space. However, it doesn't return this extra space when it is no longer needed. In Parallels Desktop 16 this space can now be reclaimed at shutdown, so you will be able to use this space for other Mac applications or documents. In the example shown here, more than 44 GB can be reclaimed. Now I will show you a new Parallels Desktop feature which will help IT administrators and others who need to transfer virtual machines. Virtual machines can be very large, requiring many gigabytes of space. The new Prepare for Transfer feature will compress virtual machines. Here I have a Linux virtual machine which is more than 7 gigabytes. When I use the new Prepare for Transfer feature, this virtual machine is compressed to 3 gigabytes, making it much easier to deploy or transfer to other users. Compressed to 3 gigabytes, a savings of more than 4 gigabytes. After this compressed virtual machine is transferred, the recipient can easily decompress it with a single menu command. Now this virtual machine is restored to its full 7 gigabytes. A subscription to Parallels Desktop includes free subscriptions to two other Parallels products, Parallels Toolbox and Parallels Access. Parallels Toolbox provides a set of over 40 single-purpose tools that are always ready to streamline common computer tasks, like taking a screenshot, or hiding all the files on your desktop when you are about to give a presentation. I will show you two of these tools. A 
a tool recently added to Parallels Toolbox is the Unit Converter tool which, in addition to converting between static units like meters, inches, gallons, and liters, also converts between currencies that change daily. Here I am determining today's dollar equivalent for 10,000 Japanese yen. The most used tool in Parallels Toolbox is the Download Video Tool, which enables you to store on your Mac any video from YouTube, Facebook, and many other video sites. Here I am downloading a video from YouTube. All I have to do is drag the URL from Safari to the Download Video Tool. That's how easy it is to use this tool. The tool will notify me when the download is complete. The other Parallels product that is bundled with Parallels Desktop is Parallels Access. Parallels Access enables you to remotely connect, from your phone or tablet, to Macs or PCs that you own or control. Here I am connecting to a remote Mac from my iPad. From my iPad, I can launch Mac applications, use them full screen on my iPad, and interact with those applications using iPad gestures, almost as if those applications were running on my iPad. Recently we added to Parallels Access the ability to connect to a friend's computer, to help them with an issue. This personal help feature is the most requested feature by our users. Here, you can see me setting up a remote help session to assist a colleague. I will help my colleague by connecting to her Mac from my iPad. You can see my entire help session in a separate YouTube video. Hi Kayla. I'm happy to help you. I am sending you an email with a special download link that will enable me, and only me, to remotely connect to your Mac with Parallels Access. Just follow the instructions to set everything up. There are many more new features in Parallels Desktop 16 than I could show in this short video. Visit the Parallels website to see a more complete list and to see additional demos. I hope you have enjoyed seeing these 10 new features in Parallels Desktop 16. Download a free 14-day trial of Parallels Desktop from the Parallels website. Thanks for watching.